Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. I hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life of the strength. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, we thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we ask you to forgive us of any sins we've done. We ask you to help us apply the word to our life today, Father God. Help us to uh, have wisdom and knowledge as we read your word today, Father God. We ask you to bless the ones that are reading it and bless the ones that are hearing it. In Jesus' name, amen. This is Sunday, so every Sunday we have a new memory verse of the week, and our memory verse the week is Philippians 1 and 9. And this is my prayer that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth and of sight. Philippians 1 and 9. Verse of the day is Psalm 66 and 10. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. Subject, tried as silver. Christian truths on the saying and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. I am tried. I am silver. I am strong. I am changing. People say God won't put more on you than you can bear, but no verse says that. What we must understand is to walk on the narrow isn't easy. It's hard because we deny ourselves, we deny the way we are, and we are denying what we believe in to believe in Jesus. To accept his laws in new ways, we are turning away from what we know for what we are trying to say that is better. At one point in my life, I was in the world, I kept thinking to myself, I'd rather be here than to be with Jesus because I, then I knew what was out in the world. A bunch of people trying to figure out what I'm trying to figure out, which is life. But then I entirely gave myself to God. I realized that he isn't what people say he is. He's beyond that. He's fantastic. He's incredible. He's so much more than what I could ever expect. It. He's my everything now. When we are in the storm or trial of life, life adds pressure and God allows this to happen. So he so we can come out as fine gold. We can come out stronger and wiser, but it's getting to the point that we must let go of our habits to accept his new ways of thinking and doing things. No more screaming, but peace with all men. No more fighting, but more praying. Everything is less than what we are trying, what we used to. Proverbs 17, 3, the incredible is the silver. This furnace is for gold and the Lord tests the heart. We can be tested in every way possible in school. We are tested our mental state. In the gym, we push our bodies. In relationships, we are tested emotionally. But the one thing that God will always test over and over is our heart. No one can do that. What he can, can with a person's heart to change. We must change our heart. He's going to pull us through the furnace until we are gold. Some might say, how much more, Lord? But we never know how long he, it will take or how long he will keep pulling us through. As we go through, we must hold on to God and say, Father, whatever you pull me through, I'm going to be okay with it. Whatever you want me to change, I will do it. Psalm 66 and 10, for you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. Again, David said, God, you tested me. You you tried me as silver. You, We all are tried. We are all pulled through, but some don't make it because as we go through this, we might buckle down with our word and hold on close to God so that he can bring us out because as we are pulling the other way, we won't make it. But the moment we surrender, the moment we say, okay, Father, have your way, we will make it through. We have to yield to him. First Peter 4 and 12, beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you as though something strange just happened to you. Peter's saying here, don't find it strange. Don't find it weird. That's that you're going through this or that is happening to you because this is what will happen to you as you grow in God. Some people fail over and over and over and some people go through like a breeze. But as you go through, you have to get in your mind that God is with you. And as long as I got Jesus, you're okay. Listen, people are going to say what they want. You can lose your car. You can lose your house. You can lose all your money that you have. But whatever you lose, hold on to the fact that Jesus is going to be there and save you through it. Today, we learned that life is sometimes challenging. But we must continue pushing through our ways and desires and hold on to him. Life can be so challenging that we feel God can't possibly love me if I'm going through this. He can't possibly see me if I'm going through this. But he sees us. Every facet of our life we must give to him. He's going to hold on to it close. A lot of times we don't understand. We don't have all the answers to the puzzle. But as long as we are holding on to Jesus, whatever we go through, whatever we are dealing with, he's going to hold us close. God doesn't want us lost. He taught every disciple how to pray because he knew prayer was essential. If we can't do anything else in life, no matter how pain, how painful or frustration, frustration we have or have come upon us, we should know we can speak to him. He hears us. We might he might not move when we won't, 
but he hears you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for today. Life, health, and strength. Lord, give us strength to endure. Help us through our moments of doubt. Lord, sometimes we cry out to you and we feel like you don't hear us or see us. Father, please give us comfort. We need to push through. Please give us peace to see through the heavy days. Lord, our heart is filled with so much pain. Please take the pain away. Not our will, but your will be done. Lord, we give you every part of ourselves and ask you to help us see towards the end by holding on to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our reference today is Psalm 17 and 3. You have tried my heart. You have visited me by night and you have tested me and you will find nothing. I have purposed that my mouth would not transgress. Psalm 17 and 3. Job 23 and 10. But he knows the way that I take when he was tried, when he tried me, I shall come out as gold. Job 23 and 10. Deuteronomy 8 and 16. Who fed you in the wilderness with manna that your fathers did not know that he might humble you and test you to do you good in the end. Deuteronomy 8 and 16. Further reading Proverbs 3, Joshua 6, Luke 7, and Galatians 3. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow on any platform. Remember to share with a family member or friend and share on social media. This ends tried as silver. Thank you. Have a blessed day.